All right, everyone, I'm here to give you my WWE NXT review. Now, the reason why I didn't do this video earlier, because I did watch the show on time this week, um, is because I was supposed to do this Google Hangout on um, the Weymouth Youth Wrestling channel with my, with a crap load of people. We were just going to talk about it then, so I figured I'd just wait and do it then. But then, I don't know, things got crazy, so it didn't end up happening. Was it, that's going to happen tomorrow, um, so if you want to check that out, feel free. I'll be on that channel. Um, so I'll just do it now. So let's talk about it. Alright, so um, this NXT happened on March 18th, 2015. Um, we get Jason Albert, Ritz Brennan, and Corey Graves on commentary. Um, and this was the first show, actually, I should mention that was on the road. It went to the Arnold Schwarzenegger Sports Fitness Center, I think it's called. Um, I wasn't, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. And that's where it was. Um, it was the, it was in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And um, I thought that was awesome. Um, it's cool to see how NXT has grown. Um, uh, NXT's went from pretty much a small um, brand to a big brand. It was the developmental. Now it feels like it's like a, like a different company itself. It definitely feels that way when uh, you just watch it. It's so much different from the WWE. It just feels like it's a different product. Um, so that's so cool that it went to... Uh, all on the road, and uh, it shows that NXT has become an excess. Triple H really has made this thing into a success. I remember in 2010, um, they did it before, and it wasn't a fail, but they made it a fail. Um, and then Triple H took it over in 2012, and this is his baby, his child. So I really th liked what Triple H has done with it. So we get the first match on the show. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more, too, because they talked about it throughout the night. But the first match on the show was Kalisto versus Tyler Breeze. I don't know where Sin Cara was. I don't, he might not have been on this show. But I'm not really sure where Sin Cara was. Um, this was a good match though. Amazing. Um, Kalisto hits a hurricane on, and then he tries to go off the top on and uh, dive, do a dive on Tyler Breeze. But Tyler Breeze counters with a drop kick. And um, then he just dominates him throughout much of the match. And then Kalisto makes a comeback. He does the move where he does the hurricanrana, then the kick to the head, and then he does uh, hurricanrana, and he plants him face first on the mat, um, and then um, he hits a crossbody. He hits a like a corkscrew um, moonsault, springboard moonsault on on Breeze, and then he goes for like a high crossbody, and Tyler Breeze counters with a super kick, but Kalisto is able to kick out of it, and then Kalisto hits a um, 450 splash on Breeze, but Breeze kicks out of that. I thought that was awesome, and then um, Tyler Breeze ends up hitting the beauty shot for the win, but this wasn't a fantastic match. I really enjoyed this match. It was a great opener, and then um, we get Alexa Bliss backstage, and she talks about how um, she's happy to show, to be in her hometown, to show what she has to prove as a wrestler. And she says a bunch of other stuff, but I don't really remember. I think something about Sasha Banks, how she broke her nose. Um, and then um, it shows like what they've been doing when NXT was on the road from like the past weekend. It shows um, Triple H talking about how, how what I said that this has grown from a developmental brand. A developmental territory to like a brand. Um, it shows um, Hulk Hogan showing up at the event and um, saying that he could possibly win the NXT championship. I hope that doesn't happen. Um, Ric Flair coming out. It shows um, Sasha Banks, Charlotte, Kevin Owens, and uh, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy going to the uh, like the uh, Wes and Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy going to the. Uh, the be the star for life or something, something for kids with like disabilities, and they talk about how they're happy to be a part of this experience. It shows it twice. I thought it was cool. Um, Charlotte was kind of tearing up a little bit, and then Alex Riley was backstage, and Finn Balor comes up to him and um, tells, says that you may have Kevin Owens tonight, but I have him next week for the NXT Championship. Um, and then he Alex Riley said that Kevin Owens has done some brutal things to me. And Finn Balor tells him not to take him lightly because after what he did 
to Sami Zayn, and he says that nobody's seen Adrian Neville since his match with Kevin Owens, which I forgot about. I didn't forget about Adrian Neville, but I forgot it's been that long since we've seen him, so good note. And then, um, so I thought that was good stuff. And then when we get Wesley Blake with Buddy Murphy versus Colin Cassidy with Enzo and Morley and Carmella, uh, it was a decent match. I didn't think it was, um, a great match, but it was a decent match. Um, Murphy gets on the apron and, uh, Cassidy kicks him off and then he accidentally, and, and then, uh, somehow Carmella ends up getting knocked out. So this distracts Colin Cassidy and Blake blows him up for the win. I actually thought this was kind of an upset because I thought Colin Cassidy was going to go over in this match and win, but that's not what happened. Um, and then we have this new girl, Diana Brooks, and they show a video package for her because she was in the sports fitness center and she's going to be coming to NXT. Um, I'm not really sure what to think of this girl yet, so I'm going to have to see what she's like. Um, but she looks like she could be good. She's very strong. Then we get Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. Um, good match. Um, Sasha Banks is the double knees off the corner. Alexa Bliss hits the springboard like moonsault splash move she does. And then um, Sasha Banks throws her out on the floor. And then um, she bounces her off the barricade. Uh, well, she bounces her off the ring apron, and then, uh, Blix sends Banks into the ring post, and Blix gets back in, and Sasha Banks gets counted out, so Blix gets the win, it was kind of cool, um, I really don't know who was going to win this match, I thought Sasha Banks was going to win, but I wasn't really sure. And then, um, Kevin Owens is backstage, and he said that, um, he's going to destroy Alex Riley, and he says he's going to end his career, because it was a dumb move for Alex Riley to quit being a, uh, commentator and then um he says that um no one's gonna as for finn Balor, he's gonna do the same and no one's gonna take the nxt championship from his family um then alexa bless is backstage again she talks about how she beat sasha banks and sasha B banks says she didn't beat her because he didn't pin me so then william regal comes up and makes this the type the nxt women's championship match for next week um i thought that was fine and then we get Alex Riley versus Kevin Owens. I thought this was good stuff. Um, Kevin Owens hits the swan, the flips um, senton in the corner. And then um, he goes to do it again, but then Alex Riley counters. Hits a spine buster on him. Um, Owens kicks out, and then Owens hits three sentons on Alex Riley. Um, he throws Alex Riley on the floor, drops him on the barricade. And the barricade kind of didn't really look like a barricade. It looked more like a guardrail, but whatever. And then Kevin Owens hit the power bomb for the win. So this so this made Kevin Owens look really strong. I think he dominated a lot of this match. Alex Riley got a drop kick and a spine buster, and he didn't really get many stuff in. But Kevin Owens pretty much dominated, and then which I was fine with because it helps Kevin Owens look like a bigger monster. And then he's gonna power bomb him in the apron, but then Finn Balor comes out. He dives on him, throws him into the steps, drop kicks him in the um, corner. And then he's gonna hit his finisher on him like. Owens escapes, and then he takes a cheap shot at Alex Riley before he leaves. Um, and that was the end of the show. I thought this was a great show, but just because it was on the... I mean, it was a good show anyways. But this was a big deal, because this was the first show that was on the road. And I thought it was great for that aspect. But I thought this was a good show overall. Um, nothing really bad on this show, but I thought this was a big step by NXT by taking the show on the road. Um... So now I can look forward to NXT coming to Boston one day. Um, and this is going to be good because um, Triple H even talked about how now they're going to have more of this exposure because they used to be just staying in Florida in the you know in the normal arena. So now um, they're going to get used to traveling around the world. So this will teach the soup, them what it's like eventually when they get brought up to the main roster. So I think this was a great idea. Um so I thought this was a good episode of NXT, so that's my thoughts. You can click right here to subscribe and check out my other NXT reviews on this channel. And I'll be back sometime this week to give you another video.